That noise just automatically brings a smile to my face, Good. Justin. Good. I'm glad. I hope that does to the viewers as yeah. well. Yeah. Every week, of course, garden goodies. And this week, you know, because of the cold weather, hardly anything's been growing. In Jeez. The but thankfully, I had stored up a lot of good stuff from last fall. That's right. So <laughs> I got out a, a package of frozen blackberries. And I got out some of the butternuts that I've been working on all winter, you know, cracking oh, up all those butternuts yep. uh, and, and put those into a nice little tree. The first, let's take a look at some of the pictures of the uh, blackberry canes out in my garden. I'm very proud of how tall they grow. Some of these are like 10 foot, 12 foot, 13 foot tall. Is that pretty normal? Yeah, height? but take a look at what happened this winter. <gasps> oh no! Some of them broke because of the heavy snow. They oh. often need... Uh, some support if you want to have huge canes like that. Um, a lot of people cut them back, but there I am mixing up some of the stuff. You can see a little tub of butternuts there. I kind of crush those up and put them in the crust of our treat here. Oh. Uh, yeah, my butternut trees uh, haven't grown all that much so far. Uh, I, they're not quite producing yet, but I'm expecting maybe there's, there's uh, well, you can see one of them in the background maybe there. Uh, they might produce butternuts in a, in a little while. But uh, yeah, and then I thought, well, what am I going to make for a treat? You know? <laughs> I, I, and I thought, well, let's have pancakes again. I could put butternuts oh, in the yeah. pan. But I didn't have pancake mix. And then oh. I thought, maybe I'll make some muffins. I didn't have any flour. But I did have a package of uh, pie crust mix. <laughs> so of course, pie for the win. <laughs> so I made these little mini pies, I guess you could call them. They oh. kind of look like muffins because I had to use a muffin tin. This is a very experimental recipe. I don't okay. know if it worked out all that great, Let's but see. there's the blackberry oh. filling inside. Let me cut one of these open and Josh we'll is see. eating off camera and he, we'll we got to mm. on camera here and see if they, I'm surprised it really held together pretty good. And inside mm -hmm. you got a little blackberry filling. Uh, I put them in a pie in a, in a muffin tin. It was a little tough, kind of sealing the edges and getting them out of the puffin, muffin tin. But I call them a, a mini blackberry butternut pie. <laughs> what do you Delicious. think? Delicious. Mini butternut blackberry success. <laughs> success. He says. He says it's pretty good. Wow. Yeah. So the butternut is in the crust, you know, and the blackberry filling. So a little something from last fall. So delicious. Good. And we'll definitely, I'll put the recipe up on the website too. It's so an experimental you recipe. You have to perfect it if you try it at home. Will do. All righty. Well, thank you so much, Dustin.